All right, guys, so it's me and Emmett. We're on this run. It's a charity run. It's a family run. It's very slow going today. So our goal, I'd say there's probably, what, 30 vehicles, maybe 40. Anyway, our goal today is to get to the front. It's just, I'm just gonna see if the Bronco can pass all these Jeeps. Let's see how far we can make it in front of the pack. You want me to back up a bit more? Just give me a little cable. Okay, That's the game. That's the game. That's the game. I'm gonna go over there. Yeah, just wait. Uh, don't go just there. wait. Just wait. You don't walk over a uh, winch leg. You got a ratchet strap on you. This thing there, get her up in the air a little bit. Yeah. Put a Shovel strap. around the tire. Yeah. yeah. Put, Put a, a ratchet, ratchet strap around, around the outside. I just want to go a little further just because it, uh, man, look how much that's rolling now. Holy crap. Back up. Yeah. If you get, oh, he'll just there. a winch fest. <laughs> Once how we get it down, down, yeah. Better. You're in the sun. See, yeah. just Olivier back, went down like, to Atlantic like, Coast, had dinner, <laughs> and now he's back. Yeah. <laughs> So he's going to stabilize that side so once they jack it up, it doesn't kind of cave in and fall even deeper onto the rim. You have that little axe? Little axe or hatchet or something? Yeah. There you go. Uh, I really don't want this jack to kiss the back here. Go up higher. Okay, it doesn't click. Put your handle right to the top. Oh, that there you go, like this. It's fitting right on the front, huh? There, there you go. Oh, she's not going. No. No, he doesn't have to drive it. Pop the beat off the tire. Oh. <laughs> and I mean, if you just asked me if you had popped the tires, yep. I don't know. Okay, first time? Yeah. You see, I guess, first time for everything. That's how you learn. That's how you learn. Oh, fuck. Woo! What, Earl, is it okay? Well, it's trying to pull the jack in your glass. Oh. Yeah. The tire popped over the sensor? Yeah. It's going back in. You think so, eh? It'll have to hook up to the battery. I mean, it was worse before. The bomb? Are you 
doing the... back one but I just noticed that the uh, the front has zero PSI. The front doesn't look too bad but Thank you guys. Woo. I guess I'm not passing anyone right now, but you know what, we're still about midway through the crowd and the only reason that happened is because I tried to pull out a four-door Jeep with 44 inch tires that was stuck to the frame and then I got stuck and then I tried to winch us both out and I was just spinning tires which I shouldn't have been uh, you shouldn't be spinning tires when you're aired down under 5 psi so but we learned I knew how to rebeat tires but I had never done it it's nice that we did it because now I'll have the confidence to be able to do it myself if I have to. So thanks uh, for helping me guys. Uh, it was awesome having all your help.
So of course I'm the one that doesn't make it up, but you know what? I blame Dave's uh, digging himself a little trench because I was pulling him back. I blame Pierre Luc though, because he made the hole that I fell in. No, no, no. We all saw no. it. Say that to a monkey, he'll give you a banana. So they had to anchor Gillux F-150 to Dave's Jeep to get me out. God, that's a mess. Yeah. Do you think it's on right now? It is on. It's not. It's not working. The tire's not turning. It's not working. Really? Yeah. Really. We hear a big pack and... Yeah. Yeah, Man. The importance of something near Rocky snow wheeling is very apparent. Yeah. Just hang in the back, the trail will be packed down. Yeah. Yeah, so I busted an axle. RCV. So we're in the Walmart parking lot right now getting groceries. Uh, it should be covered under warranty. Um, stop. Normal usage. Yeah, this was regular normal usage, so warranty. Normal. Oh well. If you're not breaking anything, you're not having fun. Hey Emmett, we broke an axle. All right, so what's going on now is there's a broken axle. It's uh, disabling my four wheel drive system. So that's great. So I'm gonna hook up this nice kinetic rope from Rough Country that I have. And we're just gonna leave it on. Any way to disable the disabling? Unplug a fuse or something? I don't know. So we're going to put uh, this tow rope on 
and uh, we're just gonna leave it on to get me out of here because we're actually quite a bit into the woods right now there that should be good see what i mean about having a group within a group oh yeah <laughs> Two wheel drive, two wheel drive like this is no good. Oh, there we go. There, we're daisy chained now. Now we should be fine to make it out, thank God. I'll show you guys what we've done and where we're at. We are here. We need to make it here to the Rio Grande Road. And if you watched the video so far, we're about 75% of the way there, so. It's not too bad. We're just gonna make it right to here. It should be dirt, but then it, it turns into a paved road here because there's houses. So. We're getting closer. It's starting to get dark and it's getting worse, but we're doing pretty good. Tell you one thing, I really like that uh, Rough Country Kinetic Rope though. The difference between that and the toe strap, it's like it kind of keeps constant tension, springs back and forth, and it doesn't give like rough jerks every time like I let off on the gas and he picks up speed. So it's making this a lot easier. <sighs> We're so close. <sighs> the guys, they look stuck up there. I'm hoping it's actually, maybe they're at the paved road and they're just airing up. But I don't know, they're kind of crooked to be on a straight paved road. We'll see. Just want to get out. Oh, we are almost there. The snow is getting deeper. And it's getting colder, so it's getting it's getting more like sand. You think we're gonna make it out? Yeah. Yeah, do you know why? Ah! We're almost there. Look at the team we have yeah. pulling us! Oh no! Ah! You jinxed us. Better watch your Bronco near us. Oh my. Yeah. Whew. They can hear that was us. the that was the roughest part right there, I think. We are so close. So close. We definitely did not prove the Bronco was amazing today. Um, but like one of the guys said, we're still here. We're making it out. I mean, you know, we were trying to winch out a four-door Jeep with 44-inch tires that was sunk down to the frame. So that was kind of dumb. And the shaft, well, maybe I put too much stress on it earlier when I was trying to tow that Jeep. I don't know. We'll see what I replace it with. All right, the last stretch. It's getting dark. It's time to go home. Let's get out of here. The front camera is helping to see when my rope starts to go underneath. I start getting too much slack. Come on, pave roads. Just around this turn, I see a house. That means paved roads. We made it, Emmett. Well, that was an adventure. It was fun. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna air up, go home, and just go to bed. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, big thanks to Dave and Eric for pulling me. 
Uh, stay tuned and I'll let you know what happens with the axle. See you guys next time.